All right, well, another morning, another pack up, another hairstyle that no one's going to ask me for a tutorial on. <laughs> Midway stop for the day. We try to do this every single time that we travel. If it's going to be a long travel day, we only go for about three hours and then we have to give ourselves and all of the animals a break from the truck. So we pulled off to this little picnic area right off of the road. I'm sure you can hear the traffic that's going by. That is 86 degrees currently and extremely humid. So this little guy comes in handy every single time we stop, whether it's boondocking overnight somewhere or just stopping for a few minutes or half hour. It's a USB chargeable fan and it is amazing. It helps the airflow. It's just, it's, it's, been, it's been a really nice thing to have. So I highly recommend that. We will put that in our Amazon store so that you can purchase one for yourself because it's, it's seriously a must have if you're going to be stopping frequently and not turning on your AC. The cat just vomited right in front of me. So I'm gonna clean that up. And then I'm gonna wash my hands and make us some lunch. We're gonna have a picnic outside, let the animals kind of recharge inside with a nice fan, and then we're gonna hit the road and hopefully get to our next destination at a decent time. What's the matter? Did you get a little car sicky? Did you throw up? Mm hmm. He's in the back seat. He's in with us. No, Keith. He's going on a ride. <laughs> Better did the floor, the windows down. Nothing but the road before us now. See the hot yellow sun light up the clouds. We can park the car beside the beach. Start a little fire and share a drink. Underneath the stars, we'll learn to dream. Something that I expected to be saying this year but you know Keith and I we just like to roll with the punches and we get we get punched a lot in this lifestyle if you haven't noticed if you're kind of confused as to why we're on the Texas coast right now it's because hurricane season has not started up yet and until it does Keith's kind of in a lull for work and we thought why not take the opportunity while we're in downtime to go meet Alexis Walls my friend that I've been talking to online for over a year. Now, it is funny hearing myself say that out loud as a millennial who grew up in the era of the internet and whose parents sat her down at a very young age and made her watch documentaries about creepy creepers abducting children after talking to them online, but Alexis has yet to try to lure me into a windowless van with candy, so I think I'm good. Okay, on a serious note, we've been having a really, really fun time together and her and her husband have been so kind to us. They've shown us the area, they've taken us out on their boat. Alexis and I have enjoyed a few girls' days out in Port A, and we took a mini trip to San Antonio where we spent the night at her parents' house and swam and just got to know each other better. And it has been such a neat experience connecting with somebody who lives the same bizarre lifestyle as us. And I think it's really important to find connections like that with people. And while I miss my friends back home dearly, they don't get it the way that Alexis does and that this lifestyle can be very isolating and very weird. And you kind of get bizarre reactions when you tell people what you do and where you live. And it's just nice to bounce that off of somebody who has the exact same experiences. And beyond that, Alexis really understands how important it is to have online friendships and to connect with people on a daily basis through her Instagram account. She has a very large following and has been able to create this safe space for a lot of people that live 
in this community and outside of the community who might be looking into full-time RVing. Now I wanted to bring her in here and have a conversation about the importance of making friends online and turning some of those friendships maybe into real friendships. So I'm gonna just scoot over here. All right, this is Alexis. She, she's not a she's not a, she's not a creepy creepy person like yeah. I had. You know, you never know. What was it? You that? never know. No, Derek said that he was surprised we weren't weird. Yeah, he's yeah. like, they're actually normal. And yeah. Like, that's, yeah, I don't mean not normal, normal. people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Normal-ish. <laughs> Whatever normal means, yeah, exactly. And she has an Instagram account, and that's how we met. Yeah. Was online through Instagram, which I will link down below in the description, so you can go check her out. But my audience doesn't know who you are, so she's gonna go ahead and... Yeah. Yeah. My name's Alexis, and I have an Instagram called The Tiny Walls Family. And it's about my family, and um, so it's me and my husband. We travel for his work. But we're mostly stationary because we move like every one to two years. But we live in a fifth wheel and it is an open range MBH 371 and so there's a mid bunk in it. And our kids are two and four and we've lived in it for three and a half years. Yeah, which is Almost impressive. Because you've been on Instagram for seven years? Yes, seven yeah, years. That's it's a long time to be on the socials <laughs> and kind of just making making it big, yeah. yeah. And so as of this moment, you have almost twenty thousand followers of yeah. people that are watching your life yeah, and connecting people. with you. I'm like, yeah. uh, it's, a little, it's a little weird. Yeah, but it's, a little it's, it's happening. It is on its own. I'm just it's, watching. It, the train is going, and there's no stopping the train. Yeah. <laughs> what did you think when I first reached out to you and was like, "We're coming. We're, we're driving out there." I didn't think. Well, I was like, "Oh." crap like she actually like felt, felt yeah. followed through yeah. with plans because usually when you meet people they're like oh yeah oh yeah we, we gotta meet up we gotta yeah. we gotta meet each other and usually it doesn't happen but it's cool when it does because yes. it feels mutual like mm -hmm. oh they're coming to see me oh they they're actually coming yeah so yeah I was excited because I was like it's gonna be awesome yeah. and then the fact that you got to be this close, and I was like, this is really fun. I'm gonna be super, super upset when you have to leave. I know, this has been super I told Derek early. I might cry. I know. <laughs> A little bit. Abandonment, yeah. pretty much. <laughs> I think with RVing, it's something that I saw once online from another RVer had mentioned this. When you make friendships online with RVers and you meet them in person, you have like that almost like a sisterhood. You do, yeah. and it's like, and you kind of, it's like an an understanding, like not necessarily that you ever say it out loud, but it's an understanding yeah. that like this is a this is gonna be a quick friendship. This is like we don't have a lot of time together. We don't have time to like go out to coffee every Sunday. So or, like we like, kind of so we kind of get down to the nitty gritty. You do. Hey, you do. Yeah. You like this? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, and then and then you just you, you just go like I don't it's been well, it's, it's nice because really it's been it's black and white We yeah. kind of like just say what's on our mind when it's on our mind yeah. So what advice would you give to somebody that might be coming into RVing and being like I'm afraid that it's gonna be lonely Well, I've been in the lonely part where you're just like new you don't know anybody you're in a new town and the Instagram and the social media gives you that opportunity to meet people that feel the same way and like, hey, I'm all by myself too. And just talking to people every day on social media has really helped my mental health of yeah. just like keeping, like I'm not all alone. I'm not the only one experiencing these feelings and these thoughts. So that, and then you build on those relationships and then you're like, hey, what are you doing this weekend? What are you, where y'all mm -hmm. gonna be? Mm -hmm. And just meeting up with people. Right. And that's the social media side. But if like, if you're, say you're not into, social media as much and you're kind of more of a butterfly and social butterfly and you want to go meet people in your park that's mm -hmm. totally an option too like if I know I'm in a park and I see a mom with a son or with a daughter with similar age kids I'm like hey spot them out go yeah. go in for the kill yeah like, hey let's be friends when we were in Phoenix I had a friend named Jess and she had two big dogs and she oh, that was your bonding with the yeah. dogs well that and yeah. she knew Everybody in the park, and I'm not kidding, better. like every person that had a dog in the park, we'd be sitting outside having coffee because she was there for a couple months with Keith and I. Yeah. And people would walk by with their dogs, and she is that social butterfly at the dog park. So she kind of meshed she, you with everybody else. She did, and she would just be like, oh, hi, Jeff, how's, this little, this how's little brownie today? And it was just funny because that was the way that she connected with people. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, I think you're right. Well, yeah, just, that's your, yeah. Mm -hmm, it's whatever you're- Finding, finding yeah. your, like, thing you can mesh or connect right. with. Right, use yeah. your fur or real children. 
to social. They both work. Yeah. I mean, if your cat, just throw your cat out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Help me find my cat. Let's talk. Okay. <laughs> That's one way. My cat's in a skate park. Yeah, exactly. Do you think that you've made really like true and lasting friendships with some people online? That, Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I think, yeah, I mean, I think it's just, we talked about the sisterhood and just mm -hmm. like the things you have in common and then you just build on that. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I still have people I talk to every day and I mean, I think me and you are probably going to talk every day. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. So I think just, yeah, I think we have built like last mm -hmm. relationships with people. Yeah. That you meet online, that meet in person. And they're real and they're true. And yeah, it's really social media. It's just, it's huge. It's, it's a great way to meet people. It really is. And I know. I mean, for how many bad things is there on the internet? Right. This is the, this is the good thing. Yeah. This is what's great about it. It and is. The amount of how far you can reach mm -hmm. with it is even better. Well, thank you for making the long trek over here and talking to me a yeah, little bit about this. Straight. I know. It's, I can throw a rock and hit your RV from my front uh, my front door. Okay, well, yeah, but, uh, I, but I could. <laughs> I'm yes. not even that sporty and I could. Um, but yeah, well, I've had a lot of fun getting to know you and being here, so too. Okay, we're not gonna cry on camera. We're gonna, <laughs> we still have a couple more days, okay? We're fine. We're but, a couple more days. But yeah, so check her out. Again, link in the description down below. You're gonna fall in love with her, and if you have an Instagram, you have link down below. Yeah, down below. So check her out, follow her. She's great. The funniest thing to me about us being here on the coast right now is that the driving force behind us actually coming here was Alexis seeing one of our drone videos, which you can watch here, and saying to me, hey, if you ever wanted to come to the Texas coast and get some cool drone footage of us driving around the ocean with our boat, that would be cool. But you see, Here's a fun fact about Keith for you. If you suggest or whisper the possibility of him being able to fly his drones in a neat area, he's going to show up there. Heck, he's gonna show up without me. It doesn't matter. There's no stopping him at that point. So that has been the goal the whole time we've been here. And we've gone out on the boat multiple times already, but every time we've gone out, the weather has not been good for drone flying. So ironically, tonight being our last night going out on the boat with them before we leave on Monday, the weather's great. So we're gonna do this right now. And I would be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit nervous about the drones ending up in the bottom of the ocean. But I guess I just have to believe that the drones won't end up in the bottom of the ocean. Do you believe the drones won't end up in the bottom of the ocean? The ocean, not the ocean, not the ocean. Can I get a thumbs up for that beautiful and unreleased version of Cher's hit song? Okay, let's go see how the pilot's feeling. So far I've flown in the mountains, I've flown in the desert, and we're just gonna take a tiny step up to flying <laughs> in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Little. Just a just little, little step up. If it falls in the ocean, I, you know, it's it's just gone forever. I gotta buy a new one. I'm not nervous or anything. Oh my gosh. I... <laughs> <laughs> All right, everything's packed. Let's just let's just go. I can't think about it anymore. can't see it and she's beside me I walk slowly this whole time I've been searching for the wrong thing she's my captain she's the sea she's the sun on my back baby she's my captain she's the sea Sun on my back, baby. Believe me, believe me, believe me. She's the kind you only find in a story. She's my captain, she's the sea. She's the sun on my back, baby. Believe me, she's my captain, she's the She's the sun on my back, baby, believe me, believe me She's got my heart, she's got my soul Believe me, I found my home She's got my heart, she's got my soul Believe me, I found my home
she's the sea, she's the sun on my back, she's everything. She's my captain, she's the sea. You're the sun on my back, baby, believe me, believe me.